Hi everyone, my name is Janice and I have a new video for you guys. Um, I just got the Good Vibes stamp and die set. So with the stamps, I wanted to show you um, the different designs. We have the Disco Ball, the Rubik's Cube, we have some music notes, uh, stars and shine, and Tetris, <laughs> I remember that game, a uh, lightning bolt. Really cute roller blades, or roller skates, sorry. Um, skateboard, happy face, these sunglasses, I remember these. <laughs> now they're like in the Dollar Tree and um, my kids like to wear them. And then the cassette, ooh, this is making me feel so old. <laughs> Let's see, right here it says forever young, sending you good vibes on your birthday. You're not too old, just retro. I really love you. Let's roll. And then rolling on by to say hi. And here you can see the matching dies. You can already see like the um, skateboard, the rollerblades, glasses. They all have them right here, including some extra designs that they added um, along with this. I really, I really like it. And there goes my rollerblades. <laughs> I've been using that one a lot. Let me go ahead and show you what I created and then um, I'll explain what I'll be doing for the video tutorial. I just want to show you a ornament I made. And I used um, this die right here for, for the background. And then another card. I just remember rainbow everything. <laughs> another card. <laughs> And this, I had a lot of fun making this one. <laughs> and the last card is one that I'm gonna be um, doing a tutorial on. I'm gonna recreate this just with a different um, sentiment and different uh, colors and animal. And then I'll be showing you like uh, what I did, what products um, I'll be using and um, yeah. So if you want to watch the video, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to make a card um, similar to this one. Show you the inside. And what you're going to want to do, um, go ahead and stamp out um, the skateboard, the glasses, and then um, you could draw a little character. I did the cat on that one, so I'm going to do a, a, a bunny on this one. And then for the background, for the circle, it's going to be Panama Rose. So with this, since it's just going to be a circle, this is kind of like scrap paper. You don't have to make it perfect or anything. Get your blender. I'm just going to use my big one. Just gonna go in any empty spot. If you want it darker, just do more layers. Make sure I get big enough. This circle's a little bit large. That is good and I'll test it out just to make sure. Yep. And with these, um, I have one where I just put it on the paper and one that's already been cut out. But um, you could do either or because I plan on cutting it all the way to the line on both of them after we color it. I think this one is just more for fun. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna use some of my alcohol markers. I'm just gonna swatch a few 
just to see what colors I want to use for the rabbit. I want to do like a light brown. Just use the first two with with this one, and you can um, outline it first, or you can just go ahead and color. Now we are done coloring, so we're going to go ahead and outline it. Once you're done, you can cut this out or you can continue coloring. I'm going to continue coloring and um, cut out everything all together, including doing the, the dye with this. Now that we have these cut out, I'm going to go ahead and um, use the die in a large circle and punch this out. When everything's cut out, go ahead and get your 5x7 card. Let's see, I actually already die cut. I just figured um, it'd be easier just to have them already cut out. The uh, die that you'll be using, if you want to do the same one, would be this one. And then what I'm going to do is actually arrange it um, this way instead of that way. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Now when you're done gluing it down, um, go ahead and cut off the edges. This is what you should have when it's all trimmed and glued on. I'm going to get this circle and then we're going to cut out a little peephole. <laughs> this is what you should have. Go ahead and set this aside. And what I like to do is um, add some embellishment on this before I actually put it in here. I really like using the crystal drops and the jewel drops. I'm going to use a combination of a few. Let's see, I'll probably use these. And the jewel drops, what it is, is basically more translucent. So it kind of makes what's underneath pop. And when you use the right colors together, they make them pop even more. So I'm gonna use the darker of 
these pinks at the bottom. And don't worry if you mess up. You can just get um, either a piece of paper or like these just to kind of scrape off the drops. I'm going to carefully set this aside and then get this one and we're going to do some em embellishing, I guess. Everything is dry and I actually, um, let's see, it's hard to see um, just in here, but I actually put some of the aqua shimmer um, in blush and just like put it on there so that when it is in the sunlight and it hits it just right, you'll see little um, sparkles inside the light parts of the rabbit. Now we can assemble the card. We're gonna assemble this first and then we're gonna place it on here. And then with this, this will help us position it. I want it to just show the face. So right about there looks good. And then we'll just do the top half. should look like this. How cute. Let's go ahead and pick a cute sentiment to go with this. I was thinking I really love you. <laughs> I'm just going to put this diagonal because I misplaced my longer one. And let's do the clear mark. Let me go ahead and get the embossing powder I plan on using. I like to have a paper um, underneath it. That way I can just sprinkle it onto the paper and then put it back here like the leftover um, embossing powder. That way I don't waste it. So let me get that real quick. Go ahead and dry that. Now that it's embossed, I will go ahead and let's see what we can add to the front. Um, with the other card, I cut out some of these sentiments as well. Let's do rolling by to say hi. And it's curved. I think it's cute. We'll put it on a paper. And that will go somewhere around here. Let's see what's a good color that will make it stand out. Let's use this. This was just one of my practice papers. I used um, 
some shimmer powder and then I put on some of the mica mist and I, I liked how it came out so I'm gonna pick an area that I think will look good And go ahead and get some um, foam tape. I'm going to use the 5x5 five 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 millimeter. This is what you should end up with. Phone five, say hi. And I really love you. <laughs> I think it came out really cute. So we just finished the video and this is what we made. Cute little peekaboo. And it says, I really love you. I don't know if you can see some of the shine from the crystal drops and jewel drops that I added, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching my video and happy crafting. Bye.